Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 of Ian's Let's Play. Today we're going to be off catching chickens with our chicken catcher. So without further ado, sit back and relax and enjoy the episode. Now last episode we created a breeder and uh, some roosts. And we went and caught some soul sand chicken and some nether quartz chicken from the nether. Now, that's all and great, uh, but it'd be great to have other resources like redstone and iron and maybe even coal. So these ones we have to go out and catch in the wild. So we're going to go out and we're going to catch us some chickens. So I'm going to walk this way. Okay. So I've just found some chickens. I found some sand chickens. Do we need sand chickens? Yeah, we do. Sweet. I'll take you two. I could take two more as well. I guess there's... Yeah, there's some over there as well. Come back here. And let's uh, take another one as well. So now we have four sand chickens. Let's um, go looking for some more. Okay, so I found another chicken. Do we need this chicken? Mm, I don't think we need it for this recipe. Flint chicken. Hey, we do need this one. We'll take four of these as well. Oh, we're being so lucky right here. Beautiful. I hope we left some. There's even uh, gravel down there. What you get flint from. And uh, I think the last one we need is the log chicken. The other ones we can make ourselves. So let's just... Have a look for them as well. Okay. My goodness, is my lucky day. Here's some, here's a log chicken. Is there any more? Oh, there's one up there. And there's one there. Oh my goodness, it is my lucky day. And we'll take four of these as well. And we'll leave the baby. Hey, there's a temple over here as well. Sweet. This is from Astral Sorcery. And there's a chest under one of these. And it gives you some iron, some bones, some aquamarines, which is from Astral Sorcery. Also a, uh, a paper. So we discovered a new paper. And there's only one chest in these. And um, we'll come back for these when we're ready to get into Astral Sorcery. Now, I think that was all the chickens we needed. So, I'm going to head home. And try not to die on the way. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you at home. Okay, we're back home, and you probably saw I picked up a flower on the way. This is one of the pitcher plants I may have talked in an earlier episode. One of these. So I just have two now. That's, that's all. <laughs> now, I'm going to need quite a lot of seeds for this, I think. Maybe that many, maybe more. And what we want to do is we want to breed two of these together. Yes, we are going to use our watch of flowing time. We need our Klein star as the battery. We're going to turn it on. And we see this goes a little bit faster now we've got our watch on. So I'll be back when these are all upgraded to 10, 10, 10. See you then. Okay, so we've just got 10, 10, 10 right here. And I'm going to breed um, 14 
So there should be 14 sitting here now at 12. And you can see the more I put in there, the faster it gets. At 10 now, I think. Because our roosts can only take 16 at a time. And you can see how quick this is with the watch. And then if I put this in here, yeah, that's quite fast. That was a stack of wood, just like that. So that's pretty, that's quite impressive. I'm going to do the same with the sand chicken and the flint chicken, and I'll be back when I'm finished doing that. Okay, so that's 10, 10, 10, and all three of them. And uh, I also put these in the roost to generate some materials. And they're just so quick. It's kind of, it's overpowered. It is quite OP. So now I can put them in here. And it's that quick. It's just ridiculously fast. Now there's a few other eggs we do need. For redstone one, we need a red chicken, which we drop um, red eggs down. That takes rose red and an egg. Oh, and there we go, the flint's done. So that's how quick it is. It's just crazy fast, actually. I'm actually going to put them all in here. Just like that. And then I'm going to see if I've got any rose red, but I don't think I do. We will take quite a lot of eggs, though. No, no rose red. So I might just need to... Oh, there's a zombie. Maybe I can... Uh, Get past him. Where are all the roses at? Whoa. Hmm. This isn't too good. And I think it's definitely rose red. I don't think it's this one we need. It's definitely rose red that we need. Where can we get roses quickly? Oh my goodness me. Uh, why are there so many zombie pigmen coming? through the portal um can you help me i'll try not to hit them because that will just be a bad time for everyone that's a little scary to say the least okay where's the where are these roses oh here's one i just need one actually Hope I got it. I'm kind of scared. I'm going back inside. That is just ridiculous. Oh, there's zombie pigmen out there. Crazy. Now, where's my... Oh, it's over here. If you put a poppy in here, you get more. Oh, and as my watch of flowing time is on, it goes super quick. Oh, that's maybe what happened at the portal over there. I sped it up so tons of pigmen came out. Maybe I should turn it off. Okay, so now we've got uh, rose red and we've actually got dandelion yellow as well. We're just going to put them there and also there. So now this table knows knows these. Now we get 64 of them. I think we'll only make 16 of these. And then we also need some seeds, so... Okay, we got at least two. Let's just speed them up. This makes them go grow quicker, which is pretty great. And then we just breed the red ones, the red uh, chickens with um, sand, and we should get redstone. And then the flint with bone white, and bone white we make by um, egg and bone meal. I don't know if we have bone meal in here. No, maybe it's in one of our chests. There we go. We should teach the teach the table that. I'm gonna have to sort out these zombies walking around outside. It's ridiculous. Go away. <laughs> okay, we got 24 of them. Let's just hope. Oh yeah, we got one. We got one. 
We need more than that. Need at least two. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Now come here and you grow up nice and quick. And you grow up nice and quick. Oh, that's very nice. You grow up a little quicker. And then what we do is we just right click them with the, and they'll grow. There we go, it grew. You can grow quicker as well. And you can grow. It's not very natural this, is it? Wonderful. So we need to use our sp cheaty speed up tool again. And we want to actually, we just want to uh, breed them together to get them better, better stats. So I'll be back when I've bred the bone white chicken together and the red chicken together. Okay, so I'm just getting to 101010 10, 10 on the second chicken. And I think I need 10 of these and then I'll have 16 all together. There we go, 16. And I also did the bone white one and got 16 of them. So I think we're ready to create all of them. We need the red chicken and the sand chicken. They will go together. There we go, redstone. So you just put them in and of course they create their own ones, but they also create redstone chickens as well. Now we don't actually need any more than 16 of these chickens. So, yeah, you don't really need them anymore. Um, you don't need any more than you need. So that is the redstone one off the list. Now iron chicken is flint and bone white. And we've got two of those. There we go. Two iron chickens. Now I think we need to use one of them again. Yeah, we need the flint one with the log one. There we go, iron chickens. And we can just get rid of these two. And then flint and the log should give us coal. Flint chicken, log chicken equals coal chicken. Yeah, we need to just do it. Oh, there we go. Nice. It uses a lot of seeds, this, but then chickens like seeds, so. That is acceptable. There we go. We have redstone chickens. So if we put this in here, we can see it's going up very slowly because it's not got any high stats on it. It's not up at its 10, 10, 10 yet. I will be doing that off camera. Don't worry, there won't be lots of waiting around watching me just do this. And we can see that an iron chicken once it's finished, this is even with the watcher flowing time, it takes ages, creates an iron nugget. Pretty great. So I think this is going to be how we'll get our resources early game. And then I will be transitioning over to maybe a quarry or something like that. Uh, makes it much uh, more authentic and actually real instead of just having chickens poop out, soul sand. <laughs> yeah, it's a little crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm just going to put that aside for now. And I'm thinking of creating a bit of a wall around here so we're protected. and lighting it up and everything like that was was one of the reasons I made a coal chicken actually was so I can make lots of torches so I can spread them around and um, make sure nothing spawns. So I think I'm going to do that. I'll probably time lapse it to make it look cool um, and I'll be back when I've done that.
Okay, so uh, I think that's it all done. As you saw, I placed torches everywhere. And I put a, just a dirt boundary around. You can kind of see it in the map view here. It goes like this. And it goes to the mountain, but I haven't done anything else. So this is just the, the area. And at night it should look something like this. You can see if I've missed any parts, maybe by this pool over here. Might go and uh, check that out over here somewhere. Make sure the the crosses are on to show if it's nighttime or daytime. No, it looks okay. Oh, right there. All right. Yeah, that looks better. And of course, things will spawn outside and they can get in if they want, but at the moment, we're pretty safe walking around in our place. Maybe on the roof, actually, of our house um, is a good place to... Yeah, you can see it already. The place uh, I forget every time is on the roof of the house, because of course they can spawn up here. And then jump down and attack. You know, classic mob mob move. 
Yeah, let's just put them nicely spaced out. Oi. Okay, there's no window here. Um, well, now we know. So uh, I think I'm going to fix that because that needs fixed. Still have a lot of torches. Got a rare loot bag. I think one of uh, one of the monsters burned to death in the sunlight. So uh, that's kind of cool. Where's our ladder up? On the other side, probably. Oh, we're going the long way around. Parkour. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, there's windows in all of them now. And also, we need to make sure down here is lit up as well. Sweet. Amazing. Okay. So this is probably quite a short episode. Not much happened. Um, got some chickens. Really, really good chickens. And made the base a bit safer. Uh, I plan on taking the grass away so it looks neater and more like over here. Maybe. It looks more fun actually over here than with no grass. But we've got space for uh, maybe an automated farm. That one's not so automated. And more improvements and building outside. I think I'll put the, the roosts outside somewhere. Uh, maybe build a shelter for them. We'll have to see. But that will be coming up in the next few episodes. So stay tuned. Come back for then. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, l hit that like button. If you want to see the next ones and want to be alerted of when they're coming out, uh, click the subscribe button. Maybe if you even want, click the bell button. And that would just be wonderful. And if you want to comment anything down below, just go for it. Just comment anything you like. Maybe a laughing emoji of me falling through the glass right here. Glad it wasn't a sky block, otherwise it would be a long way down into the void. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and come back next time. I've been Ian and uh, this is Signing Off Point and I'll see you later. See you later.